Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled Crescent Neptune and Triton. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the outermost planet in the solar system, Neptune, as well as its large moon, Triton. Now, large moons, there's only a handful of them in the solar system, including our own moon and Neptune's Triton, Triton seen here. We also have Titan around Saturn and the four large Galilean satellites of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. And those are the seven large moons that exist in our solar system. Now, in order to image Neptune in detail, we really have to travel out there. And that has been done once in history. That was in 1989, when the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past Neptune, giving us our only up close images of the outermost planet and, of course, of its system of moons. Now Voyager 2 was launched at a convenient time as the planets happened to be in such a position that it was able to visit four planets at, at oh, during the course of its mission. It visited Jupiter and then Saturn and then on to Uranus and Neptune and gives us still our only look at those two outermost planets in the solar system. Now, when we see it here, we, we see it in a crescent phase. How do we see something in a crescent? Well, in order to see something as a crescent phase, it has to be in between us and the sun, at least relatively close to the sun. So we're only seeing a small portion of the illuminated face of both of these two objects. In order to do that, you need to get out beyond the object. So if you were on Mars, you could see Earth as a crescent phase. But Earth can never see Mars as a crescent phase because it is further out from the solar system than us. Now what that means is this is can only be seen from a spacecraft. So only a spacecraft which has traveled out beyond Neptune could then look back and see Neptune in this type of phase. Now, what we see again with its moon, its moon is relatively large, similar in size to our own moon. And uh, we really don't see a lot of detail of it in this image, although Voyager 2 also took a number of images of Triton, giving us our only detailed images of that large moon as well. So by traveling out beyond and then looking back, gives us this distinct and unique view of the outermost planet in the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for May 27th of 2023. It was titled Crescent Neptune and Triton. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be an unexpected moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.